The U.S. Food and Drug Administration on Friday paved the way for children ages 5 to 11 to get Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA cleared the kid-sized doses, just one-third of the amount given to teens and adults, for emergency use. In a video conference call, the FDA's Director of Vaccine Safety, Dr. Peter Marks, said that their medical experts felt it was important to vaccinate all younger school-age children, not just those at higher risk. Because uh, at least a third of children who have gotten COVID-19 and ended up in hospitals did not have uh, identifiable risk factors. On Tuesday, advisors for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will make more detailed recommendations on which youngsters should get vaccinated. A final decision by the agency's director is expected shortly afterwards. The U.S. Supreme Court has rejected an emergency appeal from health care workers in Maine to block vaccine mandates that went into effect on Friday. Three conservative justices noted their dissents. The state is not offering a religious exemption to hospital and nursing home workers who risk losing their jobs if they are not vaccinated. Only New York and Rhode Island also have vaccine mandates for health care workers that lack religious exemptions. Both are the subject of court fights, and a court has allowed workers in New York to seek religious exemptions while the lawsuit plays out. The high court has previously turned away students at Indiana University and teachers in New York City who objected to being vaccinated. On his first full day in Europe Friday, President Biden worked to patch things up with America's oldest ally. AP's Sagar Magani reports. France was furious last month when the U.S. and Britain worked out a secret submarine deal with Australia, leaving Paris in the lurch and complaining about being misled. What happened uh, was to use the English phrase for Meeting in Rome, the president did not apologize to French leader Emmanuel Macron, but conceded the deal was not done with a lot of grace, saying he thought France had been told about it. Macron says they clarified what needed to be clarified. What very matters now is what we will do together in the coming week, the coming month, the coming year. As he sought more U.S. help in fighting extremists in Africa. Sagar Magani, Washington. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned Friday that the world was rushing headlong towards climate disaster and said leaders of the G20 nations must do more to help poorer countries. Speaking on the eve of the G20 summit, Guterres told reporters there were dangerous levels of mistrust between nations. He said he hoped the forthcoming two-day meeting would help overcome that. We are still careening towards climate catastrophe. And that the best case scenario, temperatures will still rise well above two degrees. And that is a disaster. Many of the leaders coming to Rome, including U.S. President Biden, will fly immediately afterwards to Scotland for the U.N.'s climate summit, which is seen as vital to tackling the threat of rising temperatures. The United States demanded that Sudan's military refrain from violence against mass protests planned for Saturday, saying it would be a key test of intentions after the civilian government was ousted earlier this week. A senior U.S. official also estimated Friday that 20 to 30 people have been killed since the military takeover, higher than the official toll of eight given by Sudanese health officials. The U.S. official called Saturday a real test and said Washington was really concerned about the response to demonstrations that have been called to oppose the military's removal of the civilian-led transitional government. The official warned that the military, led by General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, could try to prevent demonstrations entirely or close roads and bridges.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.